I'm here with Bob Pleasance from Goldsboro area, from Wayne County. And uh, Bob, you've already been annexed by the city of Goldsboro. What can you tell us about that process? Well, it was a very abusive process, Jeff. Uh, our community is over five miles out from City Hall, and the area that they use for contiguity is totally undeveloped. There's not one business or residence on it. Uh, so we're not really part of the city, and we, you know, we told them that, and uh, they just ignored us. And so we fought them in court for four and a half years. Now we're in the process of trying to get a legislative de-annexation, which is supported very greatly by our legislative delegation. Interesting. What's some advice you have for some folks that are about to fight annexation around the state? One of the things I think a person needs to do is really understand the annexation statutes. That's probably the first thing. Be sure that you're very familiar with the statutes. They're very complicated. There were some things we didn't know at the outset that would have helped us uh, at that time. And then you, you need to work really hard to stay organized and keep your enthusiasm up. It's difficult to maintain momentum for four years. That's it's been, been very difficult for us. Although we've done a good job, we raised between 175 and $200,000 for our legal fight. Wow. So that, that little pink spot up there is where y'all are. That's right. It's called Phase 11. This was the area right here that was used for contiguity. It's, there's nothing on it. There's no, nothing so it's completely it. undeveloped. Completely. Right. There's not one house or business. It's nothing but farmland and woodland. And so I'm guessing y'all's neighborhood is a nice development with uh, water already pulled in and right. everything. So it, it, it was just a nice, attractive place that y'all had put together over the years. Yes. And the city decided they'd rather have it on their tax rolls. They got, they got this through a local developer who was on the planning commission, the city planning commission, uh, and they didn't annex his house. His house is right there. His mother's house is right there. <laughs> his house development's right here. It's annexed all around it, but they didn't annex So he, he annex got it. what he wanted out of it and yeah. yes. left the sewer, rest of y'all hanging. He wanted sewer out here in this area. Mm. And, and another thing, Jeff, is we're on the up opposite side from Goldsboro of two interstate level roads. Right. The 70 bypass is going right through here. Yeah. This is I-795 right here. They're going a mile on the other side of the 70 bypass to annex. <laughs> so they really wanted you folks. Well, they wanted all this up here. They want house development up here, but they run out of money. Uh, they were going to use us as a springboard to keep what, going. What was your uh, connection fees? To get on the city sewer. Well, we're not on it yet. Oh, not on it yet. It's they... not $17 a foot to run the lines, $600 connection fee, plus you have to run the line out to the connection, plus you have to close your septic tank, pump it, seal it. 